Today we're going to go over how to use the symbol tool in Adobe Illustrator and then specifically how to create a custom symbol in Illustrator. You may be wondering why would you want to create a custom symbol? Well, if you have a commonly used shape such as a company logo, um, some kind of stamp that you might want to put on documents a lot that you have open in Illustrator, or if you're creating some kind of design that has a lot of repeating patterns, whether it be grass or clouds or things like that, something that you have to repeat a lot, it's useful to use the symbol sprayer tool. First thing you want to do is uh, click and hold onto the symbol. It looks like a little spray can. And you can see all the different things we can do here with the symbol sprayer. Um, you also want to go to Window and then Symbols, or you can click the shortcut over here. And you can see a couple different options here. I'll just have this one um, symbol here. If I click and drag, it's going to create a couple of symbols out just like that. All right. Now, the different tools, you can see what they do. For example, the shifter, it just does that. If you click and drag, it'll drag them out like so. If you just click and drag with the mouse, if you do the symbol scruncher, it's just going to kind of scrunch them together wherever you're clicking and holding, bringing them, to them together. Uh, symbol sizer, if you click and hold, it's going to make certain ones large wherever you're clicking. All right. And then if you go to the symbol spinner, it does just that. You can't really tell too much with this symbol, but if you click and drag, you can change the direction that they're facing. Now the symbol stainer, if I click uh, the fill there and choose this blue color, if I just click in here, it's going to stain it a little bit blue. Click it again, it does a little bit more. All right, So it'll apply more of a color there the more you click it. Symbol screener makes it a little bit opaque, brings the transparency down a little bit as you can see there. And then Symbol Styler, if you go to Window and then Graphic Styles, you can choose a style. Now, if you don't see one you like there, you can click this little side arrow, then Open Graphic Style Library. And you have a couple more options there. So if you, for example, wanted to go to Image Effects and choose this blue here, and then if I click it over here, it's... Um, it's going to add that effect that we have. All right, so, and you can also click and drag it over. Wait for it to apply there. And then it applies that style. Just another thing to consider, just clicking and dragging effects over onto symbols. Now, it may not seem very useful right now. Um, so, let's say if you go through all these symbols, if you just go to Window and then symbols. If you click this side arrow here, open symbol library, you have a bunch in here. All right. So you have everything from kind of the grime vector pack, dot pattern, communication, all that. So if you go to dot pattern, it will bring up them all right here. And you could use all those. So if you don't see one you like though, what you can do is create a custom shape and then drag it into the symbols palette. So let's say you had a star here press the down arrow so it just has regular and you were creating some kind of let's say you're creating a logo um, you know for a let's say for a website and I'll just make something really quick here I'm just gonna type in Photoshop tutorials and tips.com and I'll just bring it over here just doing this really quickly and then you could group it but you don't have to uh, once you have it there you can just click and drag it over and make sure you have the symbols palette open again and drag it over like that 
and then you want to make it a graphic and then you can name it their logo and then OK and then you have and you can delete the original then you have a logo to spray in here you can just click once and it'll show up alright if it's something you have that you need to create a bunch or just once uh, one thing to also consider when you have all these options in here if you double click on the tool it'll bring up some options so you have intensity the diameter you can click on any of these and it gives you some options like proportional resizing uh, some of them don't have as much options but it gives you uh, further instructions on if you hold down a key what it can do and uh, of course you can right click or right press a right bracket or left bracket and resize the symbol sprayer tool as well uh, this also works with more advanced vectors you know if you have a drawing like this you can uh, dr just drag it into the symbol so like this one too you can just click and drag it into symbols palette there I'll just name this straight scene and then again if you just want to bring it in once you can just click and let go alright and it still will be a vector you can zoom in and it won't lose that resolution there like a raster image would alright so that's the symbol tool and creating a custom symbol so hopefully that will be useful with projects where you have to use a logo a lot when you're using Adobe Illustrator. Thank you.